PICO searches in CINAHL. In this presentation, I'll give you some steps to follow in developing your PICO search strategy. I'll also demonstrate how to perform a PICO search in the CINAHL database. The first step is to make your research question or topic into PICO format. For this example, my topic is using music therapy to reduce stress levels in premature infants. By now, you know that typing a long phrase like that into a search box isn't a very efficient way to search. Dividing this topic into PICO format will ultimately provide me with a useful search strategy. Using a chart like this is one way to begin the process. The letters in PICO stand for Population, Intervention, Comparison, and Outcome. So I'll begin with key terms for each of those letters. The specific population or group I'm investigating is premature infants. The intervention or treatment I'm interested in is music therapy. In some cases, you may have an alternate intervention or treatment, but often you'll just have a null comparison. In this example, we can leave our C blank. Our desired outcome would be stress reduction. I can use these terms to form a PICO question, which is an effective way to begin a research paper. Sample questions formed from these terms might be, among premature infants, does music therapy result in stress reduction? Or, what is the effectiveness of music therapy on stress levels in pre premature infants? The next step is to examine the key terms on my chart and brainstorm for synonyms. Remember that databases are very literal. They search for the exact characters you enter. So you need to ask yourself if there are alternate terms for the key search words in the first column of your chart. For instance, premature infants might also be called preterm infants. For the intervention, I can think of several terms that might be used in articles about music therapy, such as music, sing, or song. I don't have to think of alternate terms for my C because I don't have a comparison in this case. Terms related to stress might be distress, or anxiety. If I only searched for the word stress without using any synonyms, I might miss a really good article called Music Therapy Can Decrease Anxiety Levels in Premature Infants. Now that I've identified a number of useful search terms, there are a few quick things I can check to make sure that I can capture as many results as possible. First, I'll look at my terms to check and see if there are any phrases. For any terms where there is more than one word, I'll enclose the phrase in quotation marks. This is a cue for the database to search for those words together, not separately. For example, I'll enclose the phrase music therapy in quotation marks. I don't want to see any random use of the word therapy, which I'm sure is a very frequently used word in a nursing database. I only want to search for therapy in combination with music. The same thing is true for premature infants and preterm infants. Individual key terms don't need to be enclosed in quotes. Another quick thing to check for is whether my search terms need to be truncated. The first term I typed is premature infants. Because I've included the letter S, the database will not necessarily pick up articles that contain the phrase premature infant without the S. In order to make sure that I get both forms of the word, I'll use an asterisk to indicate to the database that I want to see premature infant with or without additional letters. I'll also do the same for preterm infant. 
You only need to add an asterisk when you're concerned that the database may not be finding other tenses of the word or the plural version of the word as well. Another example here might be the word sing. Adding an asterisk tells the database to include other forms of the word, such as sings or singing. In some cases, this is just a judgment call. You might even want to use an asterisk with the word stress in order to capture additional forms of the word like stressed or stressful. Now we're ready to add in Boolean operators to our chart. The most frequently used Boolean operators are OR, which is used between synonyms for the same concept, and AND, which is used to combine separate comp concepts. Usually this means adding OR across the horizontal terms and using AND between the vertical terms. So here's our finished PICO search grid. This represents a great search strategy for our topic. Now I'm ready to apply these terms in the CINAHL database. When I open the CINAHL database and click on the link for an advanced search, I can see that the database has provided me with a stacked set of search boxes for my individual concepts. I can either type or, in some cases, literally copy and paste my terms into the search lines. I'll separate the synonyms on each line with the Boolean OR, just as we did in the chart. Pardon the capital letters. Note that the database default is to link the separate vertical lines of the search with a Boolean AND. Because we've chosen a topic that doesn't really have a C line for comparison, my completed PICO search contains only three lines. However, if I needed additional lines, I could just use this plus symbol to add another blank row. Using the advanced search, there are additional ways to limit your search such as specified date range, geographic area, etc. You also have the option to use the drop down select a field box to tell the database where to search for the terms you've entered, such as only in the title of the article or only as the major subject of the study. For our purposes today, I'm going to leave these limiters alone. I'm just going to click on search to come up with my search results. My PICO search has found 106 results. In a brief glance at the first page or so of my results, I've noted that several titles talk about respiratory distress in premature infants. When I included the search term distress as a synonym for stress, it didn't occur to me that I might be triggering a common phrase such as respiratory distress, which is actually a very different condition than what I was researching. Therefore, I may want to make an adjustment to my search to remove the word distress. I now see a list of 52 results that appear to fit my search criteria and may be useful for my assignment. In this way, the best search strategy involves just a bit of trial and error to obtain the best results. For example, in some cases your outcome might be a little more general than stress reduction. Perhaps the result you're looking for is simply better patient care. 
unfortunately, better patient care is really too vague to be a good search term, right? As we've already noted, databases are very literal and seek the exact terms you enter. An article that might fit all your other research criteria, including terms for your P, I, and C, but doesn't contain the phrase better patient care, would not come up in your results. So that's an example of a situation where leaving the O out of the equation might result in a better search. You may need to make some judgment calls in order to zero in on the best possible results. And here's a tip regarding quality. Depending on the number of sources that are required for your particular assignment, it can be tempting to skip the PICO process altogether since typing in a much more basic search result will probably find lots of results. CINAHL is a huge database and in many cases will return hundreds or thousands of articles on a topic. But remember, you're not just looking for evidence, you're seeking the best available evidence. If you simply type in a search term and then adopt six of the first 10 articles that appear on a list of hundreds or thousands, you really have no way of knowing how many better studies you might be ignoring. Using a well thought out PICO search strategy will provide you with a much more targeted pool of results. And in turn, that will provide you with the best available evidence for answering your research question. Examining my results a little more closely, I see the title of the article in blue, followed by the citation information of the article, such as the author's or name, the name of the journal in which the article appears, the date, volume, issue, etc. In most cases, you also see an HTML or PDF full text icon. This is how you can open the full text of the article to view and print it. In some cases, however, you may note that there is no full text icon. This is an indication that the database we're viewing, CINAHL, does not have copyright permission from the publisher to display the full text of that article. However, CINAHL is giving us the option to check for full text availability. Clicking here will allow CINAHL to check to see if the full text of the article is available from another database that Purdue subscribes to. Here we found that the full text of this article is available through the Elsevier and Gale databases. Clicking on one of these links in blue would open the full text of that article. As you experiment with search strategies, remember that CINAHL keeps track of your searches for you. By clicking on the Search History link, you can view the searches you've performed in this session. Beginning with S1 at the bottom for Search 1, CINAHL shows the search term we've entered in this column. It shows any limiters, such as a date range or geographic area, in this column, and the number of results we received in this column. As you test different search term combinations, you may find that you'd like to return to a previous search. You can always do that by viewing your search history, finding the desired search, and clicking on display results. Your PICO search strategy can also be applied to other databases besides CINAHL. For more information, you may also want to view the tutorial called PICO Searches in Medline Ovid. Good luck with your PICO search!